Purple Purple Bandidos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Light Platinum. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we took down the second Elite Four member, Weiss, and in today's episode, we're going to make our way into the third room. I have got all the tips that you guys have given me, so I'm pretty much ready to take on this next Elite Four member. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and open up with Slow, but I'm feeling good. Are you guys feeling good? Let's go ahead and take on this third Elite Four. Prepare to face Honey of Lauren's Elite Four. I use Dark Pokemon. Get ready for battle. Here we go, Rodri versus Honey, Elite Four's third member here in the Lauren region. She uses Dark type Pokemon, so we're gonna go ahead and take her on. She's gonna start out with a Sableye. I went ahead and opened up with Slow just to mix things up a little bit. I feel like these Pokemon that haven't got too much action previously deserve to at least have a little bit around here, and we are starting it off really good right off the bat. With that, guys, Sable Eye is going to go ahead and go down, and we're doing really good. A lot of you guys have been telling me that you really, really, really want to see Grouchy out, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put Grouchy out for us, and let's hope that he can have a pretty good showing here in the Elite Four. I don't know how handy Grouchy's going to come in as we keep going further and further in, but I have a feeling that it's definitely going to help out. If not, on the next Elite Four against the champion. All right, guys, it's a haunch grow. We have a sandstorm going through here. Let's go for the rock climb, then. You know what? Something I've wondered is, I've never been in a sandstorm myself, but how crazy must it be to actually be in one? To have to, like, cover up your mouth, to have to, like, hide inside places so that you can actually breathe? It must honestly be a scary feeling if you live around that. I mean, I don't really know where the heck you would live that sandstorms would be coming through, but it's honestly a little bit of a scary thought to think about. Next up, though, is a Houndoom, and this one is actually going over quite well. I'm going to go for the Earthquake. That should take down the Houndoom, or at least do a ton of damage to it. Mother Fudger, it identified me. What does that mean? Did it print out, like, a driver's license? I never understand what Identify does. I don't know. I guess this is one of the blonde moments I have. We hit a crit, though. That's actually really r lucky. I didn't expect us to start critting so early. I would rather we don't crit here in the Elite Four and save it to the champion because I know the champion's going to be a little bit tougher. With that, though, an Umbreon is coming out. I feel like so many of the gym leaders and Elite Fours here in the Lauren region have had evolutions. I don't know why. Is that just me? Or I can't be the only one to think that. I feel like a lot of these trainers have had some form of evolution going through it. Or at least the dark types have. You know, it's kind of strange. It's going to go for a little bit of that screech, though. You know what? I'm not even worried, guys. I have faith in our Grouchy. Grouchy's an absolute beast. It's honestly so strong that we should be able to just knock this thing out. You know what? Right now, I could go for another crit. Because for some reason, here's a little thing I don't understand. I remember I used to watch Pokemon, and I was like, how? You know, it was like the first season. I was like, how is this little rat, Pikachu, so strong taking down like 10 you know, Spearows that are flying around and doing all this crazy thing, but then it, you know, can't take down, like, one other Pokemon, and I just couldn't understand it, and even to this day, we're playing this game, how is it that an Earthquake can't one-hit an Umbreon? If we were going on realistic terms, Umbreon's like a little dog, right? We have Grouchy here, who's like this huge dinosaur, and then we can't take it down with a move called Earthquake? I'm talking Earthquake, like, moving the Earth. The earth is quaking, and we can't take down a little dog in one hit. Sometimes it doesn't make much sense to me. I don't know how that works out, but I guess, you know, that's what Pokemon's about. It's not completely realistic. Let's see if we can take down this Absol, though. It is almost down, and we're doing quite good here. I kind of I kind of like this little pairing we have going, this little dark-on-dark dark action. With that, guys, though, I'm going to go for one more Earthquake. And that should pretty much take down the Absol. Also, as you can see, Absol's level 79. So, coming up next, they should be passing us in levels by a ton. With that, though, guys, Absol has gone ahead and go down. We gained some XP. We defeated Elite 4 Honey. You must have good reflexes to have defeated my Pokemon. We got 1264 for winning. And to achieve great power, you need a balanced team of Pokemon. Okay, so with that, guys, we have gone ahead and defeated Honey the third of the Lauren region's Elite Four. Next time, we take on the fourth Elite Four member and the strongest of the Elite Four before we make our way to take on the champion. So leave me some tips and some comments on what's coming up. Make sure you give this video a like. Three Elite Four members down, one more to go. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.